Hello, this is Steve Wilson in the XCraft CRJ Family Video Tutorial Series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start the aircraft engines using the APU from a cold, dark cockpit. Uh, so let's go ahead and take care of some business on the outside of the aircraft first. Basically, the removal for our flight items. And let's get that out of the way. Basically, this is the... Uh, the static covers, the pedal covers, things like that, and of course the engine covers, which would get it in the way of an engine start. That's taken care of. I'm going to go ahead and add the GPU into the mix as well. Not required for engine start, however, it does provide supplemental power to the aircraft, which is always a good thing. And I'll also show you how that uh, works with the overhead panel inside the aircraft. And let's go ahead and head inside. Alrighty. So now we're uh, into the cockpit. Let's go to the overhead panel and get our checklist going. Oops, resize that. All right. We'll presume that the internal safety inspection was completed successfully. Uh, we'll skip to the power up. I'll just do an abbreviated version of this, get the batteries going and the avionics set up. And let's go ahead and silence that alarm so we can hear ourselves think. Back to the overhead panel. Okay, so power up, that's where I want things to be right now because basically what I want to show you is the GPU available button. If you go to the electrical panel, GPU avail is what you're going to see when the GPU is uh, hooked up to the aircraft and uh, basically running. Uh, you're going to have power that's available to the aircraft but not currently in use. To connect it to the aircraft, you just click on that button. GPU avail goes out and you get a little white bar. Uh, the white condition normally indicates that the function is off. However, this is one of the exceptions to the Embraer dark cockpit concept. Uh, the GPU is illuminated when it's in proper operation. Okay, enough said about that. Let's go ahead and head on over to our engine start. So we'll skip through before start, pre-flight, and get to the fun stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, prep the aircraft uh, for engine start. Uh, fuel pump one and two on. APU goes to run. Now let's go ahead and get the, something set up. I'm going to try and show you a little something here. Get the get this out of the way. Get the basically what I want you to do is watch the APU as it's uh, in the process of being prepared to start. Go back to the overhead panel. Basically, you're seeing this flashing indication indicating the APU is getting ready to go. Once it's ready to go, it is a constant uh, yellow rectangle around the APU indication. Okay. Let's go ahead and start the APU. One, two, three. And let's go back and see what we're doing. And there you go. Spooling right up. Okay, that conveys the point with the APU. Let's go ahead and get the engine started up. Back to the overhead panel, and let's see. Next steps, uh, hydraulic pumps off, check. Packs off, bleed one, bleed two, pack one, pack two, off. And APU bleed, on. Another exception to the Embraer dark cockpit, con uh, dark, excuse me, dark cockpit concept. Uh, the APU bleed is on when the indicator is on in the button. Okay, so now that uh, we've, we've gotten this far, essentially the aircraft is connected to the APU. Uh, we've got uh, basically engine start power, uh, rather engine start air going into the engines there, ready to, to fire up. Let's go ahead and open the covers. Engine two start, first to run, then to start. Hold it for five seconds at least. Five, four, three, two, one. And yeah, let's go over and check the the ICUS and see what we're getting. And yes, indeed, the engines are the uh, engine two is starting right up. Okay, we'll go ahead and let that stabilize for a second or two. And it's uh, it's just about there, just about there. I'm going to go ahead now and start engine one. Turn to run. Start. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a peek at the ICUS. And yes, indeed, engine one is starting up. Good to go, literally. 
And of course, all the warnings are going away and the airplane is coming alive. All right, so what's next? Let's go ahead and head back to the overhead panel. Close those covers, neat and tidy cockpit. And we'll turn the APU lead off and we'll stop the APU. We use the stop button. We do not turn it off. That happens automatically at this point in time. Normally in the, in the real aircraft, stop is done and then and then at, at, uh, after a certain period of time, we turn the uh, uh, master to off. Uh, we will actually have that in a later update to the aircraft. Okay, so the packs want to go on. And engine bleed one and two on. Engine startup checklist complete. And that takes care of it for this video. You are now ready to go fly, or at least to uh, go through the rest of your checklist and uh, get to where you're going. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, by all means, be sure to ask them on xplane.org in the ERJ uh, family uh, forum. More than happy to take care of you. Whatever you have, uh, just let us know. Uh, with that, thank you very, very much for uh, watching this video. We'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a great day.